Welcome. In front of me is a Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 FE Plus, and today I'll show you how you can put this device into recovery mode. Now there is a cable visible here because we will need it uh, to boot our device into this mode. So to get started, we're first going to turn off our tablet. There we go. Once your device is turned off, we will prep the cable. So I'm going to like insert it into where it actually plugs in, but it's just kind of loosely in there. And once that's prepped, you want to hold your power button and volume, I believe it's going to be up. I could be wrong about this, but I think it's up. So power button, volume up. And while starting to hold these buttons, you want to plug in the cable. So I'm going to grab it just so I can go, plug it in. It starts to boot up. Now, once you see the Galaxy logo, you can let go of the power button and um, and then at that point, um, we'll boot up into recovery mode. So once you're in recovery mode, we can unplug the cable. It was only needed to get us into this mode. Now, in this mode, you will need to utilize your volume buttons, either up or down to navigate up or down. And power button will be used to confirm whatever is selected. So by default, reboot system now, which will take us back to Android is selected. Now scrolling down, we have a reboot to bootloader, which uh, does absolutely nothing because there is no bootloader. This device doesn't have one. Uh, we have apply updates from ADB or SD card, wipe data or cache partition, mount system, view logs, run tests, power off and repair apps. So these are all the options. Now you might notice there is no fastboot mode and uh, we still can access fastboot mode, uh, I think at least, uh, but I think it's volume down and power button. So there we go. Um, I'm going to leave this mode by sticking with the first option. So reboot system now. And as you can see, we're now back in Android. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.